Good day everybody, welcome to today's video. Today's video I'm going to go over some things with the ASD relay, also known as the shutdown relay in case of something major is going to happen. It uh, disables your vehicle so it doesn't cause further damage. The ASD controls things like your O2 sensors, your coil, your injectors. And since I'm doing the LS swap in my Jeep, I'm going to bypass the ASD to utilize those circuits for something else. But in the process, I figured this might be a pretty good opportunity to do a video of it in case you're having issues and you suspect the ASD may be at fault and what to go through. So according to my sheet right here, my ASD relay is this one right here, the one we're going to be working on. And your ASD fuse is this one right here, the 30 amp. A couple things we're going to do is that I got my power probe, which is the best troubleshooting tool ever. I got a multimeter as well. And this test is actually going to be very simple to do. So the control wire or the PCM gives a ground through this gray plug right here. And that's terminal number three, which connects to that bottom one right there. I'm going to go through that. But what we want to do right now is that with the ignition off, only one terminal is going to have power. So it's going to be that one right there has constant power. This one right here will have power during ignition on only. And this is your your ground that is controlled from the computer. That's going to be the pin number three coming off the PCM. And then this is going to be the one that supplies the power to your injectors, your O2 sensors, and your coil. So let's turn on the ignition. Ignition's turned on. So now I'm going to see power in two spots. This is the constant power, remember? And then this one here is your ignition on. It's going to have power. However, this is your ground coming from the computer. And you can see right there, the PCM is not giving me a ground to turn the ASD relay on. So one of the things you got to look at is if you suspect that the ASD may be at fault, well, obviously the easiest thing you want to do is check your ASD fuse. If your ASD fuse is blowing, something is shorting out. I know from experience, um, one of the main things you want to look at is your O2 sensor wires down below. If they have rubbed through and grounded out, your ASD fuse will blow. Same with your coil and injector. That's one of the main things. So, because you can see right there, this is your O2, well, Maybe I should plug the relay back in just for purposes. So the O2, as you can see, there's no power, right? Injectors, injectors, same thing, no power to the injectors because there's nothing coming off. The computer's not giving us a signal to ground. So now I'm going to pull the gray plug out. I'm gonna find pin number three. I'm just gonna put that little poker in there. I'm gonna turn on my multimeter. I'm gonna pull this relay back out. Multimeter set up for ohms, check resistance. So now I'm just gonna put one terminal in. So that's going from number three. So now when I touch this bottom one, it says I got continuity. So we know the signal or the wire is good from the plug to the fuse box. So at this point in time, if you checked that you got constant power here, ignition on power here, this ground is good, then your computer is sensing something is wrong or possibly you may have a bad PCM as well. 
So I want to show you right now, this is where the power probe comes in handy. So I got my multimeter hooked up. I'm on DC voltage. I got one part of the multimeter grounded. I removed my O2 sensor fuse. I'm going to put that terminal in there. So what I was talking about before, once again, we're going to go over this. This is your constant power. This is your ignition on. This is your computer controlled ground. And if everything checks out, the relay is gonna switch and give 12 volts to this. Right now we're not reading any voltage, but as soon as I energize the power probe, simulating the ASD relay is working, it provides power to the circuit. Once again, this is just a real quick troubleshooting guide. Obviously, if you suspect that there's a problem and um, the O2 sensors or something like that's at fault, your computer will give you a code usually telling you that something has shorted out, which is a pretty good reference to look at. But if you suspect that the ASD relay is failing, you can always swap it up with another relay. And I hope I got through with you guys the procedure and how it's wired up for you guys to troubleshoot it on your own. Like I said, I'm going to be disconnecting the pin number three from here and I'm going to be grounding it so the uh, ASD relay is going to be another fuse block to utilize uh, for my LS swap. So I'm not going to be using the O2 or the, you know, injector power off of this so I can utilize it for something else. So once again, I hope you guys enjoyed this short video. If you guys have any questions or comments and if this is your first time coming to this video, Please subscribe and follow along while I work on this LS swap. I'll see you guys next video.